I'd like to show you how to do iterative and conditional logic in UiPath Studio using a flowchart. So to start off, I'm going to create a brand new process. I'm going to call it the UiPath flowchart example. Click create. I'll leave the description blank for now. And once this project opens up, I'm going to make sure that the project tab is selected. And then on the project UiPath flowchart example, I'm going to add a new flowchart. And I'll call it my flowchart. Nothing too interesting there, creative with the name. But you see a new flowchart display. So I'm going to do a little bit of organizing in my UiPath Studio environment, just because I want a lot of space here to demonstrate how a flowchart works. You can see we've got the little start icon here. Everything starts in a UiPath flowchart with that start button there. And what I'd like to do here is I'd like to create a little number guessing game. You got to guess a number between one and 100. So starting off, the first thing we're going to need is a variable of type int32 that'll represent the magic number. So I'll click on the UiPath Studio Activities tab and pull over and assign activity. And I'm also going to drop it onto that bottom arrow there of the start button. Boom. And you see this line gets created saying we're going to start. And then the first thing we're going to do is create a, a new variable, assign a new variable of value. I'm going to call this UiPath variable magic number. And I'll click Control K to bring up the set var text, which will allow me to create a new variable. So I'll call it magic number. And the value that I'm going to assign to it, this is going to get a little bit complicated. So I'm going to open up the advanced editor here and I'm going to cheat a little bit looking at my notes. It's going to be a new random number. And you say new random, that creates an instance of the random class. And then you say a new number between 1 and 99. That should be fun for our little example. And this is going to create a, a new variable named magic number. It's going to assign it a random number. Now, we do have a little error message here. And that error message is because the assign activity defaults to string. And that new random creates an int32 variable. So I just have to click on the variables tab here and say, hey, change that UiPath variable from a string to an int32 type. And once I do that, all of my problems go away. Well, maybe not all of my problems, but one of my problems goes away. OK, so we've got a magic number. What do we want to do? Well, we, now we want to grab some input from the user and have them guess the number. So to do that, I'm going to grab a UiPath input dialog box. I'm going to drag it under the assign activity. But notice I'm going to drop it on the triangle there. And by dropping it on the triangle, it's going to create a workflow link, a UiPath flow chart link, chart link that says, after the assign activity happens, call on the input dialog box. And what do we want in the input dialog box? I'm going to go over here and change the title. I'm going to call it number guesser. That should be the title. Um, and then the label is going to be enter a number. And then the result, again, I'm going to create a brand new variable here. So I'll click Control K and I'll call that the guest number, not guest as in a guest at a palace, but guest as in I guessed at the number. Now, again, I'm going to run into that same problem where it's going to say, you know, I don't like that data tape. So I'm going to go down into variables here. Just change the data type from a string to an int 32. It didn't bark at it now, but it you know it may bark at it at runtime and it allows us to do the conversion right there. So it'll make our conditional statements a little bit easier to calculate. Okay, so now I've got input from the user. I've got a magic number. And now what do I want to do? Well, I want to see if the magic number is the same as the guess number, right? Have they guessed the magic number? And so to do that, you add a decision point. I'm going to add that decision point onto the workflow. I'm going to drag it onto the triangle underneath input dialog box. So after we get the input, we're going to do this flow decision. 
And what's this decision going to be? Well, it's conditional on whether the magic number is equal to the guess number. And you make that the conditional for the flow decision. So if they've selected the right number, if the magic number is equal to the number they guessed, the guess number, well, then we'll send them a message box saying, hey, way to go, you guessed the right number. And so to do that, I'm going to drag a message box over here and I'm going to drop it again onto the triangle, I'll put it on the left hand side here to format things nicely. And so if the condition of the flow decision is true, you can't actually see the true there, but if I move that, there you go, you can see the true. If it's true, well, I want this message box to say, I can go over to text here, you guessed it right, it was, and then plus guest number dot two strings, probably required there. And there you go, that's gonna say, hey, you guessed the number right. Now, what if they didn't guess it correctly? Well, if they didn't guess it correctly, we need to figure out whether they need to guess higher or whether they need to guess lower. So that's another flow decision. So I'm gonna drag a new flow decision next to the first flow decision. So if they guessed it right, well, that's Gary, the game's over. If not, they're gonna to have to guess again, but we need to tell them if they need to guess higher or lower. So now I'll drop a flow decision onto the flow decision. And if this decision is false, if the magic number is not equal to the guess number, well, let's see what happens if the magic number is greater than the guest number. So if the magic number is greater than the guest number, we have to tell the user to guess higher. Okay, so that's the condition. So I'm gonna go over here and drag a message box onto the flow decision here. If that point is true, you see the true pointed up there, we'll tell them that they have to guess higher. So the text will be guess higher. And then I would imagine if it's the other way around, well, we'll throw the message box onto the false decision and say, hey, you need to guess lower. Okay, and so that puts our application mostly done. Now, right now, as soon as one of these message boxes, the you got it right, the guess higher, the guess lower, as soon as one of those message boxes pops up and gets closed, the application is going to terminate. The cool thing about a flowchart is you can implement iterative logic, flow logic, like a while loop, without adding a while loop or a for loop to the program. All you do is you just add a branch from one activity to an activity that occurs previous in the flowchart. And so, for example, if we want them to guess again after they've we've told them, hey, you need to guess lower, yeah, guess lower, I can now drag this connector from the message box here all the way back to the input box. And that essentially creates almost like a while loop. Keep going, keep getting input from the user until they've guessed it right. Now, of course, if we do that for the guess lower, we need to do it for the guess higher as well. So I'll drag this connector over here up to the input dialog box. It's kind of ugly. When it's ugly like that, you can drag it out. That looks handsome. There we go. And now we've created a flowchart, a workflow. And we've actually implemented essentially a while loop that is going to allow this flowchart to keep iterating until the condition where they've guessed the magic number is true is met. Okay, so I'm going to save that by clicking Control S. You can always click on the save icon as well. And I'm going to say run file to bring this up. Now it's going to ask me to guess a number and I'll guess number 50. I've got to guess lower. So I'll do 25. I'm going to guess lower than that. Why not 10? Guess higher, maybe 15. And I guessed it right. Boom. It was 15. Now I click OK. And of course, from the message box, it says you got it right. There's no connection to the input dialog box. So when that particular condition is true, when we've guessed the right number, well, the UI path flowchart terminates, it exits, it's done. And there you go. That's a real simple and nice example of how you can do conditional and iterative logic with a UI path flowchart.